let's look at the examples for Likata model. The first one, first examples we have let rxt equals to lmxt minus with lmxt minus 1. Show that rxt and ryt are perfectly correlated where y is not equals to x. So when we are saying that <coughs> y uh, perfectly correlated, y is not equals to x. So when we are saying perfectly correlations, we know that the rule is should be equals to one. For the correlations formula, we know that correlations of x and y it will be the covariance of x and y over the standard deviations of x and standard deviations of y. So for this case we are going to get expected value of r xt times with r yt minus things with expected value of r xt r yt this one over the standard deviations of rxt standard deviations of r yt so we also know that lm xt this is equals to alpha x plus beta x kt so for rxt here is lm xt minusing with lm x t minus 1 we are going to get alpha x plus beta x kt minusing with alpha x plus beta x k t minus 1 here alpha x and alpha x can be cancelled out you are left with beta x times with kt minus sin with kt minus 1. So if you're looking for the expected value from these sides, you can get it through the expected value of these sides. So for this case, expected value of kt minus sin with kt minus 1, this will be equals to expected value of c plus sigma k z t here we got this one from kt minus in with kt minus 1 this is equals to c plus sigma k z t because we know that kt equals to kt minus 1 plus c plus sigma k z t this is from the previous video okay from here you can say that this one let's bring it here expected value of kt minusing with kt minus 1 here you are going to get equals to expected value of c plus sigma k zt where your zt is normal 0 1 since this one is normal 0 1 expected value for this side is 0 so you are going to get this one equals to c so for the whole thing expected value of r xt here you are going to get equals to bx c and the standard deviations of r x t here you are going to get beta x sigma k standard deviations for uh, constants variance for constants is zero so standard deviations here is also becoming zero so for this case since this is uh, zero one you are going to get sigma k as well so once we have this it's the same thing for uh, RYT. So 
expected value of r y t here b y beta y c and expected value of standard deviation standard deviations of r y t here you are going to get beta y sigma k so we sub the correlation formula we are going to get rule equals to the beta x beta y c square plus sigma k square minus in beta x beta y c square this one would be over with beta x sigma k beta y sigma k here if we expand this you are going to get beta x beta y c square plus beta x beta y sigma k square minus in beta x beta y c square over with beta x sigma beta x beta y sigma k square this one and this one cancel this one over this one equal to one so we show that this one is perfectly correlated Okay, that's it. Thank you.